Hi, welcome back all of you. And then in this video, I'm going to demonstrate about how to delete an item actually. Right. We'll also see the deletion constraints. So I'll now share it and go there. And then let me go and then create four items for this exercise actually. Go to the product management, go to the product information management. And then I'm going to create four items for demonstration actually. Well, I click on it. I will now go on and create an item. Zero zero or zero 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 or go there. And then it's okay. Fine, go there. Click on OK. You're creating it. Fine, click on S. Okay, fine, go there. I will now say it's a XYZ and underscore item underscore one. There is the item I'm creating it as a first item and go that on it. I'm going to paste it and then go there. I go to the associations and then let me associate my child or the 001. So go to action and go to self net and then let me associate to 001. So it is not done now. Go there. I will now save and close. So similarly, I'll now create three more items. <clears throat> three more items I'm going to create for demonstration of what the deletion. Deletion constraints also will be demonstrated. Click on create item. Now this time I'll now create from a copy actually. I'll now say the organization 000. I don't know. Item is what X, Y, Z underscore. Then give a tab. The item will be coming. And then I click on OK. Click on yes, no. <clears throat> Go there. It is XYZ underscore item underscore two. This I am not changing the description to two because there is no copy to the original item. I go to the associations and then go there. And then go to actions and then go to self net. I will not put 001 over here. Select it and then click on apply and then click on done. So save and close. <clears throat> Second item is now created. I will now go on and create my third item for demonstration. I will now go to the create item. I will now create from a copy. Go there. Zero, zero, zero. Item is XYZ underscore. And give it a tap. I will now choose item one now. Both the items will be coming. I will now choose item one for this. I click on it. And then go there. Click on OK. The third item is now getting created actually. Go oh, there. It is the X Y Z underscore item underscore three. So the description I will now change it to three. And then go there. Go to the associations and then let me associate the child R. And go to action and go to self net. And then zero zero one of the one. So what I'm going to do is the uh, first item will have a stock. Right. So it cannot delete. If you have a stock, we cannot delete it all. Second item will be in a requisition. So if it is an item in a requisition, we cannot delete. And then uh, the third item will be in a purchase order actually. So if the item is in a purchase order also, we cannot delete. So likewise, if it is the item in a sales order, also we cannot delete. If it is in a planning, we cannot delete. So there are inbuilt constraints. So there are more than 100 constraints are there, which has been done by Oracle actually. Fine. It will not check all the constraints, whether it meets these constraints or not. <laughs> and then if it meets, it will not delete wrong. If the row font is one on any of the constraints, when it is executing internally, and then if it finds it out, it will not delete it all. It will not show you clearly about what exactly is the problem. Actually. So is item four wrong? I click on it. Sorry, it is underscore item four. Go there. It's four wrong. I go there. So the fourth item is getting. This is the fourth item is only having no activity at all. So the fourth item will not have any activity. I click on it. I will not go there. Zero zero one is the one entry now. Select it. Fine. So click on apply. And then click on done. So go there. I give a save and close. So all the four items are now created. So for the first item, I will now have a stock. Right? I'm not going to have a stock. I will not click, click on the home account. I will not keep a stock. I will not go to supply chain execution. <laughs> supply chain execution. And then I go to the inventory management. I will not go to the inventory management. Fine, click on it. And then here, I will now have a stock.
So keep a stock of let's say 100. So if you have a stock of 100, then you will not be able to delete it all. Click on the create the next transaction. Drop it down. And then there, I will now go to what? The miscellaneous receipt. Go there. Fine. I will now click on search. And I'm go there and click on it. So click on OK. I will not make it as a yes now. I will not put the first item. So it's X, Y, Z underscore item underscore one as item. I will not keep it on stores actually. Stores. I will not go there and then keep it on the hunt. So click on subject. So the second item, I will be keeping it on the requisition. I will not get a purchase requisition to it. So I will not click on the home icon. So it will not have that. So second item, I will not keep in the purchase requisition. <sighs> Procurement. And then I go to the purchase requisitions. I go to the reception of purchase requisitions. And then I go there. I will not enter requisition line. Go there. So it's what it is fine. Delivered location is Seattle. So, you know, filling up the, what's called the preferences basically. And then destination type is going to be inventory. I click on it and then click on save and close. Now, whatever they go there, I will not click on enter requisition line. We cannot get the requisition actual. So, go the item is XYZ underscore item underscore one. Give it up. Everything will be coming. The description will be coming. The category will be coming. And then I will not give a price. The source organizations are coming because it's now enabled for both uh, or internally orderable also. I will not make it as a supplier. No. I will not make it as a supplier. I click on the supplier. And then the price is going to be 10. And then go there. I will not go for five commodities. That's it. Fine. Click on add to cart. Fine. Once when it is add to cart, I will now review. The requisition is now getting created for that. Oh, sorry. Not for the first item, actually. Uh, I will now give a cancel. No, thank you. I will now, I will now go for a second item. I will, go there. I will have to go for the second item. I will now what happens? Delete it now. Delete the line. <laughs> so I have to go for a second line, second item actually. I will not delete the item. So I will now do this requisition creation for the second item actually. You are not deleting the item actually. I have made a mistake. I made a first item actually. So we will now delete it and then create a purchase requisition for the second line, second item. <laughs> and then for the third item, I am going to get a purchase order. So the deletion is now going on now. <laughs> So once when you click on review, the requisition gets created. As of now, nothing is created actually. It doesn't matter. <sighs> so close for it now. Wait for it. It, it is not what happens. It's taking a long time because for the first time you're doing it, and so it is not taking a long time. Similarly, if an item is available on the sales order, if an item is available on the planning, fine. So if any activity is there on the item, it will now execute all the constraints and then see whether any rows is found or not. The constraints, if it is returning a row, then the item will not be deleted. If the hundreds of constraints which Oracle has written internally, it is now satisfying and then none of the constraints is now giving you a, what happens, a row. Everything is now giving you zero rows font, then it will not delete. So that way it works actually. It works that way. What I will do is I will not click on the home icon and then go back. No, I will not click on home icon and then go back. And again, come back to the requisition area and then put the second item over here. Fine. Right? the best way. Sometimes the instance also will become slow, actually. So we can't help it, actually. So if the whole main one is also not coming, fine. Let me go there and then delete up to com and then enter it now. So it will now go to the home. So go there and then do it now. Home page will come. And then I will now go to the purchase requisitions straight away. Click on it and then go to the procurement and then purchase the requisition. Purchase the requisition and then we will now create the requisition for the second item. And then in the meantime, I'll right click and then duplicate. And then we are going to create a purchase order for the third item. Purchase requisition. I go that you want to enter requisition line. 
I think it is already there. Okay. Item one does got created actually. Two zero four one four zero has also created. So it has internally created the item. And once it is added to the cart, it has now created requisition number also. Anyhow, I will know for the second item. I will not write. Nothing will correct. X Y Z underscore item underscore two. For the second item, for the first item is having a stock as well as a requisitions, and then the second item will be having only requisition actually. <sighs> In this place, what happens? I will not go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase orders. And the fourth item will not have any activity and so it will be getting coolly deleted. Okay, I will click on it now. I will now make it to the supplier. So it's a supplier. <laughs> Over here, I will not go to the purchase orders. I click on it. I will not create a purchase order for us. So he must be a buyer actually, otherwise it will not be possible to click on the create order. If he is not a buyer, it will not be possible. So we have to make him as a buyer actually. The CM10 has to be made as a buyer actually. Otherwise, what when the procurement view is coming as blank bank and so on. So let us not make him as a buyer. And right click on the duplicate now. Duplicate. And in this place, whatever they go there, I will not put this. Everything is coming. The price is around 15. Now I click on 15. And then go for 10 quantities. Some point, for 10 quantities. Five quantities, not 10 quantities. No? So go there. So click on add to cart. We are adding it. So the amount is not coming. So uh, it has not gone to see it. Only one hundred and one. Ah, oh God. Quantity is ten fifteen. Some mistake somewhere. No? So it is not coming. Right? So one fifteen is coming. Amount is fifteen. Right? Fifteen. And then only one ten quantity is one fifty actually. It is still not coming properly. It's okay. And let me let me add to the cart now. Uh, one fifty is coming. The one food is coming. When click on add to cart, you're not getting added now. It takes some time for the system to stabilize once when you're doing it for the first time, actually. You go to this place and now make it as a procurement agent. I will not go to what? Set up and maintenance and then make it as a procurement agent. In the meantime, what happens? It has got to add it to cart and not getting added now. So go there. I will not make it as a procurement agent. Okay. Go to the set up and maintenance and then from there, I will not make it as a procurement agent. Actually. So once when he's made as a procurement agent, I will not go to the set up and maintenance. Search and then go to the managed procurement agent. Managed percentage. Procurement percentage. Fine. Agent percentage entry now. Only procurement agents are eligible for creating a purchase order actually. I will not choose US one business unit. No added. I click on it. I will not go with the review. I click on review. Review will automatically even when you add to cart itself, we have seen that it is now creating a requisition actually. No review, no I will not go there. The US one. The business unit, thank you. The agent name is what? Last name, come on, first name. Fine. That is a student, fine. come on, space, the CM there. So that is the way you had right now. And last last name, come on, space, first name. And then this is the what is the US one now. Fine. I will not give him full access. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we are not going to do anything at all. Fine. I'm not giving access to other agents' documents. Fine. Click on save and close. <laughs> so it is not done now. Fine. So we can very well create a purchase order. Here you go. That is not coming now. Fine. The number is coming. The requisition number is coming. Fine. As well as I have to simply receive now. Fine. You will not go there. I will not create a purchase order. If I click on the create order. We are going to create order. So first item is having a stock as well as a requisition. Second item is having a requisition. The third item is having a purchase order. So I will not put ABC consulting. So click on create. And then I will not put the third item on this one. <sighs> the purchase requisition. I will not come back here. Right? This is not that. Not come back here. I will not go to the uh, purchase orders. Not back to correct. Not go there. Go down in the bottom. Whatever they go there, and then click on the plus on the line. I will not populate the line. So in the main area, what happens? We go to the product management, and then go to the product information management, and then I am going to create a deletion. So in the edit document, what happens? Go there. I am not going to add it. So we are now going to create a delete constraint actually, deletion uh, group actually. I will not create it. So click on it. The X, Y, Z, fine, underscore item, 
underscore three now. Think about it. This is there. Waving it off. So in this place, what I'm going to do is I will not click on it. I will not get the deletion group. But I click on it. I will not get the deletion group. So in the bottom, what happens? I manage deletion group. In the item management, we have one manage delete groups. I click on it. You know, going to delete it actually. This screen has been changed actually with the redwood uh, one of the initiative. So now it is now having a different look actually. So in the meantime, what happens? I go the edit document. It is still coming. And item. The purchase is also set to come. It's coming, coming, coming. So go to this place and go there. Uh, we are now clicking on the delete group now. I click on it. On the manage delete groups. Man. It's coming in a different screen, I think, probably. Yeah, it's coming in a different row. So go there. In the right hand side, we have a create now. I click on the create. I am not going to create. And then here, go to the edit document. Man. It's still coming. Oh, God. <laughs> it's taking a longer time, actually. So in the delete group, what happens? I will not give a name. No, I will not say X, Y, Z. Fine. Delete group. Delete group is the name. I'm giving it. I will not take a copy of it. And then put in the description. So I am not going to add the items on this. Fine. Before which let us not complete the purchase order. Fine. Go there. Come on. So I will not give a, what happens? 25 is the price. No, I click on it. It's okay. Fine. In the schedule, what happens? I'm going to give a date on which we need it. Actually. I am not going to the schedule. So I'm going to give a date on which we need it. No. So the third item is now having a purchase order actually. So even though it is not approved, but a demand is now created. So the point is what are they? Uh, 17. And then go to the schedule. Go to the schedule. And then we will now save it actually. Go there. I will now say uh, the requested date has to come. Up and why either the requested date or promised date has to be given actually. So one of the date has to be given. So we'll now give the date and then give a save. So once when you save it, what happens? It is already saved actually. When the number once when you go on inside itself, the, the system has saved the purchase order actually. And then go there. And then I go to the schedule now and click on it. So in this place, what I'm going to do is I will now click on plus and then I will now add it. I'm going to click on plus. And then I will now query for it. So I'm going to query for it. X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z underscore. Fine. I don't see all the items going. So the first item and then this is the first item. So the uh, second second part is basically the child number and the master of and I'm choosing number click on it. But I will not choose the second one. Fine. I will not select it and then it now selected as one. I will not go for two now. Fine two. And then go there. And then entry now. Uh, and then second line is selected and then uh, the number of items selected is two. Fine. This is zero, zero, one. I will not go third and then enter now. So go there. Select it and then click on it. It's now selected now. And then go there. I will not go for the fourth item. Now go over the fourth item and then put a tick mark on this. Now fine, it gets four so selected. So click on the show selected. You know, show all now fine. Click on add. Now. We are going to add it. I click on add. You know, adding everything. So it's all added. Fine. All the so we can add any number of items. And then in the meantime, what about the edit document? We are now going to give a date and then we are now going to save it. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to say I need it today itself. And then go there. The top, what happens? I'm going to save. I click on save. You know, some area. So the third item is in a purchase order. You are not getting saved. So the first item is having a requisition and then uh, on stock, and then the second item is having a uh, first item is having a uh, stock and requisition. The second item is only a requisition. The third item is in a purchase order. Fourth item has got no activity. So the no activity item only will be eligible. We're now saved actually. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not go there. So now the decision uh, is now created actually. It's now created. I will not go there. So what you're going to do is will not what happens? Make a check. I just put it down. Not a no. I'll go there. So I will know what happens. Go there. Go back on level now. And not saved actually. So you know, save and give a cancel. So, so give a cancel. So you know, come to the main screen now. Fine. Do, do you want Discord changes? Fine. Uh, if it changes, if you leave now, your changes won't be saved. No, fine. There is no save icon. No, fine. Then Discord will come back. You are done now. Fine. Click on Discord. Now what happens? You go there and then query was no, fine. I will be handing all the things no, fine. on X Y Z. I will not query. Uh, X Y Z. And then enter now, fine. You'll be finding this. Oh, God, it's not coming at all. When I created it, I think probably we have to save some mana, fine. It's not getting saved, actually. I don't know what is it. So, click on plus now. Go there. X, Y, Z, underscore. And one, and then enter it now. X, Y, Z, underscore. Whatever the item. Underscore one now. 
So for the and then, no select actually. And then click on add. You no know, adding it now. Oh, add add everywhere, I think, probably. And then only it will find So there's a mistake I'm making up. Add add it now. <coughs> Go there. There's a EX by Z underscore delete them underscore two now. Select it, then add it also. Select it. And then click on add now. I will give add, I have not forgotten on this order. So click on plus. Now query for it. X, Y, Z, underscore, item, underscore three, and then entry now. I am sorry. Underscore three, and then entry now. I will not choose it. Selected one, and then click on add in the bottom. I have not added it actually. So click on plus. Then go there. X, Y, Z, underscore, item, underscore, four. Select it and then click on add. So now everything is added actually. And we don't have any save icon or anything like that. Fine for that. So I will now click on the create. Now fine. I will click on create. I don't know. I think we have to create now. I click on create. Or oh, the name is not there. Fine. X, Y, Z underscore delete underscore group underscore two. I don't know. So the delete group tool. So click on the description. So click on create. Saving delete group to now. What happens? The delete group is ready. So what are you going to do? We are going to actions and then what happens? We are going to check the constraints. Actually. So before deleting it, what happens? We are going to check the constraints. So click on the check constraints and then it's not going to check constraints. Right now the status is in progress now. So we have to wait for the what happens? The status to get completed now, and then it will not tell you really what exactly is the problem. Actually. It's not progress. If you click on what happens, you have to wait for some time. Now, I will now again query for the XY user and then enter it now. Fine. It will now show you the delete group. Fine. It is in progress actually. So we have to wait for some time now fine, for this to complete. So now uh, it has, uh, we will now go on and again click on the manage delete groups. It will now open up one more page. In the one more page, it will now show you what is the current status actually. It is now saying completed actually. And then the last activity is errors actually. If you click on the hyperlink on the delete group, it will now tell you. How many are in the error actually? So, that. so three of them are in the error actually. So there are errors. One is having error. If you click on the hyperlink on the error now, right? So it is ready for deletion actually. The remaining are in errors. So when you click on the hyperlink on the errors, it will not show you cannot delete the data because on and exists for this. You cannot delete the item because uh, uh you cannot delete the item because a completed inventory transactions exist for this item actually. Okay. You cannot it's only showing you the what's called the inventory on and now and click on okay. Now see the second no, second error and click on it. So click on the second one. You cannot delete the item because the associated purchase procurement the object is not having a reference to a requisition actually. So go there, click on it. And then you'll now see the third error. Okay, click on it. The third error, I'm going to see it. Okay. You cannot delete the item because it's associated with the procurement business object. This item is now referenced in the purchase order. So similarly, if the item is now referenced in the sales order or in the planning or any other activity is being done on the item, then you cannot delete the item at all. Right. It will not check all the constraints. So they have over an inbuilt 100 and odds constraints. But I don't know where to go on and see it. Whereas in emails, we can very well see what are all the constraints which Oracle has written actually. Now, without I will not delete the only one line. Now, if I click on it, let me delete the first line. I will not delete the first line. So now only two, three, four are there. So the errors. Now, let us know what happens. I try to delete this. Now, if I click on a good actions, and then what happens? I will not submit delete. Now, I click on submit delete. So we'll be submitting the delete. Now, if I click on it. So we are not deleting it actually. So it is in progress actually. The deletion is in progress. We'll now see after some time about what exactly the status actually comes. So some time has elapsed, and then I will now go to the product permission management, and then I will now click on the manage delete groups. And then now what happens is now completed at the errors only. I will now click on the hyperlink of it. Now I click on the hyperlink of it. So now it shows what. Two of the lines, the two and three are having errors actually. So if you click on the errors again, what happens? It will not show what happens. You cannot, it's in a requisition actually, and then that is in a purchase order. So the fourth item is not visible at all. And the fourth item is not visible. So uh, you go to actions and then see whether we can export anything or not. We cannot even take a report. Last activity status, last activity decision group submission, last activity. So nothing is coming actually here. So now we'll now go and then query on the X, Y, Z. What happens? We'll now see one, two, three will be available, but four will not be available as item. Okay. So if you can take a report, it will be great actually. I can select it and then see whether we can take a report or not. So select the line and then what the submission delete or edit. All these are the check constraints, but uh, there is no report of what has been deleted. Actually. If somebody finds it out, please inform me. Uh, 
and then I will not try to understand about what are all the items they've been deleting. So they're not showing you know. I click on this. I'll now close this one. I now go there. I will now go to the browse items and then query for the XYZ. The fourth item would have got deleted. Right? Only when nothing is there, no activity is there, no on and no requisition, no purchase orders, no sales orders, no planning, then only we can delete the item. So click on the browse items and then here we are going to make a check now. I click on XYZ. X, Y, Z, underscore, and then you will now find only three items, the fourth item is only there. So, there no so three items there. But the fourth item is there in the master, but not in the child, actually. Because only the child we are deleted now. Only the child we are deleted. So, fourth item is only in the master. Whereas the remaining items are there in both the master and child. So, this completes the deletion item test. Now, you can do it. You can delete it via manage, delete groups, actually. Bye for now.